Today we're going to be talking about CPAP. What is a CPAP and how does it work? CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. Now let's break that down. The continuous is providing a constant pressure, non-stop. The PAP is Positive Airway Pressure, that that's a positive pressure that's being introduced into the body. CPAP therapy is used for patients that suffer from sleep apnea. Now, what is sleep apnea? Sleep apnea is when you stop breathing throughout the middle of the night. Now, there's different forms of sleep apnea. There's obstructive sleep apnea, which is what CPAP is used to treat, but there is central sleep apnea and complex sleep apnea, which we're not gonna get into in, in this video. What CPAP is, is a machine that's gonna be providing that constant pressure throughout the night. So it's a little blower motor that's spinning, providing a constant airflow. That machine is gonna be attached to you through a tubing that goes to a face mask that you put on your face. As far as the mask, there's nasal pillow mask, there's nasal mask that cover the nose, nasal cradle mask that sit under, and full face and total face mask. CPAP therapy is mainly used to treat patients with obstructive sleep apnea. What is obstructive sleep apnea? Obstructive sleep apnea is a blockage in the airway. Very simple, when you fall asleep, that all the muscles in your body relax, your upper airway collapses. Your tongue falls back, your airway closes, no air can get in. Think of a, of a door. When you have people going, a flow of people going through a doorway and you close the door, that flow of people can't go through. What the CPAP does is the action that a person would open and hold the door open. So that action of holding the door open is what a CPAP does to your airway. It pops it open and it keeps it open so that the flow can continue to go through. The sole purpose of CPAP therapy is just to maintain that airway open. So when you're keeping that door open, that's what a CPAP is doing throughout the entire night, making sure that that flow does not stop. Patients sometimes ask, how would I know if I need a CPAP? Well, depending on symptoms, sometimes daytime sleepiness, foggy memory, just foggy brain throughout the day. Those are symptoms of patients that might have sleep apnea. Also, patients that have a bed partner that complains that they snore too loud and they stop breathing throughout the middle of the night. Those are patients that might need to use a CPAP. To determine if you need to use a CPAP, the best option is to go see your primary care physician, tell them your symptoms, your primary care physician will either refer you to a sleep specialist or refer you to do a sleep study. Once you have that sleep study done, the results come back and if you do have sleep apnea, you'll be receiving your CPAP machine or APAP or BiPAP. There's a variations of different therapies, but for this video, we're talking about CPAP, which is the continuous positive airway pressure. When you receive that machine after your sleep study, your doctor set a prescribed pressure for that machine. And yes, it's a prescribed pressure. So this is something that you can't just get a pressure out of thin air. You need to be titrated to a set pressure. The doctor's gonna write the script for it and your respiratory therapist is gonna preset the machine for you and send it out to you. With your CPAP, you do have some settings that you can manage, specifically ramp. The ramp time is something that patients sometimes alter. Now, it's not recommended to just alter it without seeing your, your respiratory therapist or your physician. Usually you can give us some symptoms and we can provide the, the adequate adjustments for you to make sure that you get a proper night's sleep. Ramp time, what it is, is the time it takes the machine to, from the start pressure all the way to the optimal pressure. So let's say your doctor sets your pressure at 10 centimeters of water pressure. Your machine might start at four centimeters of water pressure and you have a ramp of 20 minutes. So your machine is gonna start at four and it's gonna gradually increase throughout 20 minutes to get to that pressure of 10. Making it more comfortable for when you put on the mask awake, it's gonna be a lot more comfortable to breathe with that pressure. And as you fall asleep and your airway starts collapsing, the pressure starts increasing. So your airway never gets to collapse. CPAP therapy is just that, a therapy. You can't take CPAP therapy like taking a pill going to sleep and you're gonna wake up fine. No, CPAP therapy is like running a marathon. If you're gonna run a marathon, you're not gonna walk out of your house and just start running. And 
you run a marathon. You need to practice. Practice that to run that marathon. How do you practice to, to use the CPAP? Put the mask on, turn the pressure on while you're awake. Maybe put your TV on, watch some TV, listen to some music. This is gonna help distract you while you have the machine on. Now, while you're awake, it's not helping you at all. This is something that you need it when you're sleeping, but to help adjust to it, you use it while awake to help get used to having it on your face, having that pressure hit you. Those, those are things that you need to gradually, it's like a hurdle, it's getting over that hurdle. Once you get used to that, you can sleep with your therapy with no problem. In this video, we're giving you the basics of CPAP therapy. The basics of it is you're gonna be putting on your mask, it's giving you a pressure. There are some comfort settings like um, EPR on these resume machines or C-Flex on the, on the Respironics machines. That's, a, that's a, a function to help you exhale. So every time that, like, while you have that constant pressure, every time you're gonna exhale, the machine lets off a little bit so that you can exhale easier. Humidity is also a setting on, the, on a CPAP machine. Now the humidity, humidity setting can vary by many, many things. It can vary by the temperature in the environment. It can vary by the, the humidity in the environment and it can vary on your respiratory demand and what's comfortable for you. That's something that your respiratory therapist can help you set up and adjust. And this is not an exact science. This isn't something you set one pressure and forget it. You might have to play with it and you might have to change it at different times of the year. Like when those winter months come, if you have that, that heater all the way up, you're gonna get a lot of rain out inside your tube. So you're gonna wanna turn that humidity level down. Another thing you have to consider with CPAP therapy is wearing that mask with your bed partner. Because when your bed partner sees you with that mask, they're gonna be like, am I dating an astronaut or am I dating a pilot? What's going on? Now, this is something that is just getting used to it visually. Because you might see it in the beginning and it might be a little bit overwhelming even for yourself. But little by little, you get used to it. And once you get that good night's sleep, ain't nobody gonna take away that machine from you. You will quickly realize that the benefits of using CPAP therapy outweigh how you look. So vanity has to come in second place today. Now, for those of you that still require a little bit of help trying to get over that hurdle, click on the link above. We have a video to help those patients trying to get used to that CPAP machine. We hope that this video has helped you understand CPAP therapy just a little bit more if you feel that we missed something, please comment down below. And if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. Until next time, have a happy snooze.